Hey, what's up? It's Tony from HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com. Thank you for watching this short video. If you're wondering why I'm in this room, I'm actually having one of the rooms repainted and respackled and sheetrocked in my house here. It's just the studio that we're working on, and uh, I just it was nice and clean here, so I said, hey, let me shoot the video right here. But anyway, this is a real true story about my nephew. I just got off the phone with him. So I hope that you are able to take some golden nuggets from this video and learn from them. Um, just like my nephew Jules is learning from them uh, the hard way, okay, by actually putting me in the money. I have a nephew, he's 18 years old, his name is Jules, he's living in uh, Dallas, Texas right now. And he just bought a car, he's 18, you know, he doesn't know anything about cars. He didn't buy it intending to sell it and make a profit. Just buy it for personal use. So this goes for any of you out there who are looking to buy a personal car also, right? So he goes, he, he finds this Volvo S, S80 2002 uh, at a, a lot, okay, from a dealer lot, all right? The guy, I don't know the guy there, but he went with his mom and they bought this car for $3,500, okay? I don't think uh, they did any real market research on these cars before purchasing it, but after he bought it, uh, he found out it needed shocks on the whole thing, all right, which is big bucks because the front shocks on these cars are McPherson struts, and you need the whole shock and strut. The whole thing is like 250 for each side. So they spent about a thousand dollars to have sh to buy shocks and have shocks, new shocks installed. Um, this is all like within the past two weeks, and uh, the interior is shot in the car. Okay, he knew that when buying it. But the body is in beautiful condition. And the engine, so-called, the guy said it was in really good condition, 106,000 miles on a 2002, which is not much mileage, pretty good mileage if you ask me. And uh, a week ago, he's driving his friend home or something, and he starts seeing like smoke in the engine, right? Burning, he looks at the thermometer, it's on overheat mode, right? Pulls over, doesn't know what to do. He has it towed uh, to a mechanic shop. Um, somebody that he knows that worked on the, the suspension system previously, right? So he likes the guy, he knows and trusts the guy, and the guy says, uh, no, don't, don't worry about it, we'll check it out. So they checked it out. Uh, first, initially, they thought it was a blown head gasket, but when uh, the mechanic took the engine apart, took the head off, uh, looked inside the cylinders and noticed a couple of cracks, the block was shot. So my, uh, my nephew asked the mechanic, hey, do you think I did this or do you think it was previously damaged? The mechanic said most likely the block had problems. Just by driving it regularly, you're not gonna blow an engine like this. It probably had problems and you just overheated it, which made it worse. So, you know, this comes down to having a car inspected if you don't know what you're looking at. Okay, it's really worth the extra 50 bucks to take it down to a gas station if this is if you don't know anything about cars and have your car inspected have it checked out if you don't know how I mean I show you how to inspect cars within the F1 formula course uh, you know the basics I show you the, how to find body damage if it was in an accident before I show you how to do uh, mechanical checks suspension checks all of that stuff I show you how to do within the course but uh, if you don't know and you're like my in my nephew's position with his mom they don't know anything. They should have really spent the extra 50 bucks, taken it to a gas station, had it professionally inspected, okay? So they got it for 35. He put a thousand in for suspension, which is on the cheap mode. He says he's in it about five grand now. Let's just say 45, right? Uh, he's having the engine replaced, right? So now they have to go, the mechanic has to go to a junkyard, find another motor, put the motor in. They're charging him $2,200 to do that, all right? So, 45, 55, 65, 67 hundred dollars plus the titles and taxes that they had to pay. They're in this car about seven thousand dollars now. And I said, did you do any market research? So I was just on the phone with them. I said, look, Jules, type in Craigslist the same model year car that you have and see what they're selling for. Do some market research. He says, man, they're only selling for like forty-five hundred to five thousand dollars in in excellent, beautiful condition. And uh, I told him, see, I mean, you have to know what you're doing. I don't know why he didn't contact me before and ask me, but he's all the way in Dallas, 18 years old, doing his own thing. Uh, you know, he doesn't have time to call his uncle all the time for advice. But 
I mean, now they're in this thing for $7,000. He says he doesn't even want to have anything to do with it anymore. He's probably going to sell it at a loss because you can't really... The way to, to make most of your money back on a car like this is to get it running and then sell it. Because to sell it with a bad motor, you're probably only going to get a couple, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars for it. And he's already in it for forty five hundred. Do you know what I mean? So you're going to have to invest that extra two grand to make an extra two or three grand. You know what I mean? You're going to cut your losses. So he's probably going to get forty five hundred or five thousand for this thing. Max when he paid 7000 Now he's saying he wants to get a Jetta or something. So just be careful about this stuff. And I just told him about the two, the three out of the two principle. Okay, so when, when looking at a car to buy, right, there's three main parts. There's your exterior body condition, right? There's your interior condition, and there's your mechanical condition. There's three major areas. If two out of the three are bad, Forget it. Don't even waste your time with the deal. Okay, so if you have a bad engine and bad interior, and the only thing good of the car is the, the body, it's not worth buying unless you get it for free. Okay, so just remember that two out of three principle. Okay, the two three principle is what I call it. And uh, if, if only one is bad, so say you buy a car, the engine's excellent, the body's excellent, but it needs a little bit of interior work, and you can get it for a good deal, it's worth it. All right, if the interior is cherry, the body is cherry, but it needs a little mechanical work. If you could get it for a good deal, then get it. It's worth it. Okay, so the 2-3 two, two, deal, look into that. Uh, it really works. And I hope you learned something about this video. It's a true story. I just hung up the phone with my nephew. And uh, that's the problem he's having right now. So I told him, look, if you want me to help you sell it, I will help you write out the ad. And uh, I give him some tips about that. And I may be doing a live webinar with him where I'm going to record helping him out and then I'll share that video with you also. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about buying and selling cars for massive profits or you want to learn how to buy personal cars and save money while getting a good car, uh, go ahead and get my 17-page bikini report at howtobuyandsellyourcars.com. Uh, we have thousands of members worldwide that joined us and learned how to profit buying and selling used cars without a dealer's license. Just, you know, on their spare time from home, you want to make a little extra money, uh, pay for college, uh, save up for a vacation, pay down a loan, whatever you want to do, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so again, it's Tony. I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, rate it, like it, share it, and uh, comment below if you're on my blog. Comment below if you're on YouTube, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Have a great day. Uh, again, go to, go to howtobuyandsellyourcars.com and get my 17-page bikini report to learn how to buy and sell cars for massive profits right now. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.